pancreas it is an retro peritoneal organ it is lying transversely along the posterior abdominal wall pan means all and the creas means flesh means this pancreas that is whole fleshy the pancreas that is whole fleshy and it lies at the level of l1 and l2 and it is almost 15 to 20 cm long in structure lying transversely along the posterior abdominal wall and it weighs around 90 g it consists of the four part the head neck body and the tail the and the tail of the pancreas that in getting that is getting terminated at the hilum of the spleen this is the visceral surface of the spleen and the tail that is getting terminated at the hilum of the spleen the head it consists of the three borders two surfaces and the one process the head this one is the superior border the superior border it comes in relation with the first part of the duodenum along with the superior pancreatic duodenal artery the inferior border of the head of the pancreas that lies in relation with the third part of the duodenum this you can clearly see this is the third part of the this is the third part of the duodenum and this is the right lateral border and the right lateral border that comes in relation with the second part of the duodenum this superior border inferior border and the right lateral border this superior lateral border that comes in relation with the first part along with the superior pancreatic duodenal artery the inferior border that comes in relation with the third part of the duodenum along with the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery that is the branch of superior mesenteric artery and the right lateral border that comes in relation with the second part of the duodenum where there is an anastomosis of the superior pancreatic duodenal and the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery now coming to the two surfaces of the head of the pancreas the anterior surface this one is the anterior surface and behind that that the posterior surface the anterior surface that lies in relation with the first part of the duodenum along with the transverse colon and below to the transverse colon the here lies the coils of jejunum from above downward the anterior surface it lies in relation with the first part of the duodenum transverse colon and below to the transverse colon lies the coil the pancreas uh, that is all fleshy it lies at the level of l1 and l2 lying transversely along the posterior abdominal wall and it is almost 15 to 20 cm long structure and it consists of the head neck body and the tail and the tail of the pancreas that is getting terminated at the hilum of the spleen you can clearly see this one is the spleen and the tail of the pancreas that is getting terminated at the hilum of the spleen the head part it consists of the superior border inferior border and the right lateral border the superior border it comes in relation with the superior pancreatic duodenal artery this is the superior pancreatic duodenal artery that is the branch of gastro duodenal and the gastro duodenal that is the branch of common hepatic this is the superior border inferior lies the inferior border of the head of the pancreas that lies in relation with the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery this is the right lateral border that comes in relation with the second part of the duodenum this is the second part of the duodenum first part second part and inferior lies the third part of the duodenum this is the anterior surface of the head of the pancreas and the anterior surface of the head of the pancreas from above downward it is related with the first part of the duodenum below to the first part of the duodenum lies the transverse colon and below to the transverse colon lies the coils of jejunum so in the anterior surface of the head of the pancreas from above downward it is related with the first part of the duodenum transverse colon and below to the transverse colon here lies the coils of jejunum and the posterior surface here lies the posterior surface and the posterior surface of the head of the pancreas it is related with the rbi r for right crest of the diaphragm bile duct this in this you can clearly see the bile duct along with the inferior vena cava along with the terminal part of the renal vein this is the posterior surface of the head of the pancreas and the posterior surface it is related with the right crest of the right it is related with the right crest of the diaphragm along with the bile duct and the inferior vena cava and the terminal part of the renal vein this is the ancinate process and just in front of the ancinate process you can clearly see the superior mesenteric vessels are running anterior to the uh, this ancinate process and the superior mesenteric vein and this is the splenic vein 
the superior mesentric vein and the splenic vein behind the neck of the pancreas that is going to form the portal vein at the posterior surface of the body of the pancreas lies the splenic vein and the splenic vein along with the superior mesentric vein behind the neck of the pancreas that is going to form the portal vein this is the neck of the pancreas and the anterior surface of the neck of the pancreas that is related with the pylorus of the stomach this one is the pylorus and this is the neck the so anterior surface of the neck lies in relation with the pylorus and behind the neck at the posterior surface it is related with the formation of the portal vein this is the uh, body of the pancreas and the body of the pancreas it consists of the three borders and the three surfaces the three surfaces that is the anterior surface inferior surface and the posterior surface the anterior border it lies in relation with the transverse mesocolon tail of the pancreas and the tail of the pancreas that is getting terminated at the hilum of the spleen